New information about Eden's Mercy, Jen Parsons will be playing in a trans-focused film and a Japanese special about a BL mangaka. More on this in a second here at Queer Fidanchi. Hi, my name is Devin Jackson Randall and welcome to Queer Fidanchi, where we share LGBTQ and BL media through news, reviews, and good conversation. Today is Friday and that means it's time for the weekly update where I share LGBTQ and BL media news. And this could be anything from casting announcements from Hollywood to Kickstarters for new BL games, comics, and whatever else. So let's get started. First, we're going to be talking about Bamba Toucher's Eden's Mercy. Yes, I know I talk about this all the time, but I'm really trying to keep up with it and express to you guys what's going on. So if you guys don't know, Eden's Mercy is a part of the new Yabara genre that Jude Manga is trying to create. If you don't know, Yabara is a combination of Yaoi and Bara, as well as including LGBT factors. And that's basically what Eden's Mercy is about to be. And the premise of Eden's Mercy is that there is a murder in a city, much like New York City. And this murder is of a trans woman who is very much about the trans community, the LGBT community, and activists uh, really trying to protect LGBT people, right? And so Eden, a member of a gang, or the head of the gang, is very upset by this. He is friends with the trans person. And so then he has his best man, Vince, up to solve the mystery and to figure out what happened, right? When I first found out about the premise and explained it to you guys, I actually got a few of the characters wrong. So the new information that I have is actually based off of the Velvet Toucher Q&A that I had at BishonaCon. A video is coming up later tonight uh, of my BishonaCon experience. And what I learned was that one, Coyote is actually Asian American. Uh, the Luke character is black. The Vince character is Italian American. Little Bird character is uh, Latino and has some other mixing in there. In addition to that, Coyote is actually uh, HIV positive. He has HIV slash AIDS. I'm not sure which part of the disease he's at yet. Vince has a boyfriend, uh, so there's a romance going on over there. The inspiration of the story is the gangs that formed during uh, in New York City during the time of immigration. So like in the 1920s or so, Harlem, Chinatown, uh, when there was the Irish section of the town and everything. And these towns formed these underground crime gangs, right? And these gangs were one. They were gangs, so they're not good people. The people in this manga are not good people all, the all around. But at the same time, they are looking out for their own. So there's that aspect of, in this area of LGBT people, this gang of LGBT people are looking out for their own. And this also adds to the why Eden is upset about this uh, murder, is that this happened in his zone. This happened in his area. Once again, the Kickstarter is currently happening for Eden's Mercy, link in the description. Uh, and if you guys back it for digital, you can get an extended version with extended smut scenes. Uh, if you guys want just the plot, just want the focus on the plot, then buy the print version. But if you get the digital version, you get some extra sexy, steamy scenes as well. Now on to other news. I don't know what that was. Anyway, next we have a lesbian romance movie that has announced its release date. Below Her Mouth is going to be starring Natalie Creel as Jasmine, uh, who is a fashion editor and living with her fiance. And then she meets Erica Linder, who will be playing Dallas, who basically switches up her life and introduces her to lesbian romance. That's all I know about the premise. Uh, there is a trailer, link in the description, for what where you can watch this movie. In addition to that, the release date is for April, so if you guys want, go check out that movie when it comes out. Next, HBO and BBC have a joint project together. Uh, they have announced that they're creating Shipdale Hall, which is actually based off of a real-life diary of a real-life person named Anne Lister, who was a 19th century noble woman and who was actually nicknamed uh, Britain's first modern lesbian. The diary was actually very explicit, which is kind of on brand for HBO, and very explicit about uh, the sex life of this person, about the orgasms, the sexual desire she had, about the STDs that she or other characters got, so on and so forth. So go look it up and check it out if you guys want. Next, Jim Parsons, who you probably know from The Big Bang Theory, is actually going to be producing and starring in a trans-focused film. This film is titled A Kid Like Jake, and it is actually based off of a play from New York City, uh, and this play is writer, the playwright, will actually be transitioning the play into a script 
for the movie. In addition to that, the director for this film will be Silas Howard, who is actually a trans director and was the director of the TV show, the hit TV show, Transparent. Um, so this movie will be focusing on the parents of a four-year-old trans uh, kid and Jim Parson will be playing the father. So this is an interesting film, I guess, and I'm looking forward to see it develop. This isn't so much LGBT or BL news, but it is in the realm of BLness, so I thought I'd share it anyway. It's an interesting little story. Apparently Japan is having a kind of TV special, a one-shot special, and it is actually going to be focusing on the life of a BL mangaka. I'm, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to memorize this, so I'm just going to read this off my paper here. TV special will be titled Demo Kekon Shitai uh, BL Mangaka no Koi Rase Ko Katsu Ki. The uh, English translation of that is But I Want to Get Married, a, B a Boy's Love, a Manga Artist Complicated Courtship Chronicles. That is such a long name in both forms. But anyway, it's actually based off of an autobiographical manga uh, by the mangaka. Haruki Fujimoto. Chiaki Kuriyama will be playing the character. Uh, if you don't know her, she was in Kill Bill Volume 1 and in Battle Royale, which I was never a fan of. I could not stomach it. Uh, but anyway, she will be playing the character, the 30-something mangaka, uh, who is trying to get married and is a little frazzled and kind of a funny little character. If you guys are interested in this TV special, it'll be coming out in Japan on April 4th, and I guess try to find your way to see it after that. Lastly, we have a few Kickstarters to talk about. Uh, for instance, we have Black Coffee, which is actually about uh, Mitsue, who gets stumped by his girlfriend, and he panics, and he's all upset, like, oh no, how do I tell my friends? I don't know what to do. And so here comes this character named Kiyoshi, who decides to create a ruse with the character and say, hey, I'll give you a coffee every day, say it's from your girlfriend, just in, as a kind of like exchange, just kiss me every day. If you guys want to back Black Coffee, it'll be a one shot, just a one chapter story, and it'll be $10 for a digital copy, uh, $15 for a print copy, $20 for signed, and so on and so forth. You can add to get a few extra bonuses as well. Uh, link in the descri description if you guys want to back that. In addition, we have Life As He Knew, Volume 1, Chapter 1. I actually saw that this was on Kickstarter before and got rejected, so maybe the person has scaled it down from like a whole volume to just a chapter, and then he'll slowly go from there, um, or chill. But anyway, uh, this is about a, it's very basic, it's basically about a college student who wants to become a baseball player, a pro baseball player, and he decides to submit to his coach in order to get ahead. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this story, but I thought I would share the Kickstarter with you anyway, just to let you know that it's out there. And if you guys want to back this one chapter, then you would only have to pay $5 for the digital version, or you can pay $10 to get a bonus-filled uh, one chapter digital version, which will have a few extras, like a few extra pages and some colored and things like that. So go check it out if you want, link in the description. Anyway, that is it for this weekly update. If you have any thoughts on these news stories, make sure to share them down in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like it, to share it with your friends, and to subscribe if you haven't already. We're to share LGBTQ and BL media through news reviews and good conversation. So let's get talking. Bye. Jim Parsons, who you probably know from, uh, Sorry. I couldn't remember what the Big Bang Theory was called, so I had to look it up.